All right, so it's a little bit different video than tissue culture, but it's still relevant. So I'm trying this experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work. So normally this cactus, I could go ahead and just go ahead and put it in um, some agricultural pumice or something like super, super inorganic completely. Let it root. Most of them come with roots already a little bit. Um, and then you can just plant it and keep it alive. Um, they're usually acclimated already, especially if you see an air filter on the box. Um, that just means I'm doing it at the same time as I'm rooting. Um, so you can see this is a Fralia culture. Um, I'm gonna graft it onto this San Pedro and hopefully the graft and the acclimation process can happen at the exact same time and it can go directly in. So this is an experiment, I have no idea, so you guys are gonna have to follow up. Um, I also have this really nice new growth here and behind it and stuff, there's a bit of, that's actually from spraying some pesticides on my cactus. I didn't realize it damaged my columns, but now I know, so I don't use that one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut below it so that it roots kind of pretty much here and then this top part will grow. Cause I'm gonna take this top obviously and, and plant it. Um, and then I'll use this column to go ahead and put that on and hopefully it's successful. Um, I have horrible experience using grafting tape. I always just use like micropore tape or something. It's a bit more sticky, but I have a trick on how I use it. So let's get started and hopefully this works. Um, if it dies in a couple days, I will not post this video or I'm gonna post it with fail on the top. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy. Beautiful. There is the ring. You guys can see that's the vascular ring. So I'll just leave that there for right now. Um, actually, we do need to keep processing. So. Dip that in some rooting hormone, maybe. And let's bevel these sides off. So I guess this is a small grafting video. So you know what? No matter what, I'm going to post this because even if you're not using a tissue culture plant, Maybe this would be useful for grafting. So I believe this is called beveling. I could be completely wrong, um, but a couple reasons we do this. First reason is if you think about it, as it were to dry up, any of these really sharp edges that are still pointing upward, they're gonna go ahead and dry. And actually, because the cactus skin is so like thick and dense, it, um, the scar tissue will push your uh, scion off of your stock. So again, the scion is the part that's going on top. The stock is the stock. So you can see that's there. We want a beautiful flat surface. Yes, we do. I believe this is a pachinoi. All right, so then let's go ahead and got my tissue culture plant in here. I'm go ahead and, cause I'm not trying to save it. If I was saving it, like if I only wanted to take one from this cluster, then I would go ahead and just pop one off, graft it. But I'm actually trying to graft this cluster all together on there. So I'm just gonna clean up the gel a little bit. And ideally, I don't have any with me right now, but if you had water, it'd be nice to rinse the plant off since the nutrient solution does have um, sugar in it. So pretty much I'm just cleaning it, very soft, compact tissue still. So you can see anywhere that there was callus or red tissue, I'm just giving it a light scrape so that I can actually see where is all of the tissue coming from, right? So pretty much it looks like there is a main core on this. So that is what I'm gonna attempt to graft. Let's see.
And that's not rot. That's just tissue cells. Wow. I mean, it looks nice. Her pressed right on there. So how I use this tape, because it's always sticky, is I'll do a really long piece, like I'm showing you like this, and then I will bend the inside part, but still keep the edges sticky, right? So you can see it's like this. So sticky that I can stick on the pot, and then it's sealed up like that. So I'll go ahead and stick that side on the pot. This is all not sticky, giving me no issues at all. And then go ahead and press it into place. Just like that. Um, if I feel that it's not that secure or like this one, I really, really want there to be a lot of pressure because I'm also not 100% sure where that vascular bundle is on the core base. If I was separating all of them out, I probably could have found the core base or you know the court, the main area where the flow is, you guys know, the vascular system. Um, so this one I'm gonna keep because it's very pressed on there. And we'll see. Sometimes I like to tighten it, so I'll just pull this down a bit and retape the edge. And that way I can just take the tape off of the pot and then it doesn't affect the graph and I just remove it off slowly. Same on this side. And this side. So I don't know if you guys can see very well. But it is pressed on nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under some very low level LED lights. And then I'm hoping in about a week or two, they will be joined. Um, or if not, it will shrivel up in three days. So I'll give you guys a follow-up video on so maybe with my graphs and stuff. Um, and hopefully you learned a little bit on how to graft. I know this was kind of messy, um, but this piece right here, I'm gonna go ahead and plant it. So we have a new plant here and then a new graft there and hopefully a new technique. And thanks for watching guys.